Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a quick look on version one on how to access our home network from anywhere in the world. Especially if you want to access a machine particularly. Let's say that you have a device that you know its IP address, internal IP address, and you want to manage that device, but you want to do so from outside network. Now I said version 1 because there are several ways of doing this but this one is in my opinion of course the simplest one of doing things. Now that being said the first thing that we will need to get is a more friendly name to our home address. Usually well not usually we have an IP address that it's dynamic in most parts so it will change from time to time and that IP address can be 81.255.355.155 something like that which is not very friendly. It should be more friendly if I could put something like robertojorge.ddns.net something that I will remember. Now to do this there are a lot of services but the one that I use is no IP so just head over to no IP create a free account and there are a few limitations with having a free account but if you need in the future something more complex then you might upgrade but for what we are going to do free is just okay so create a free account and then inside your account you just need to create your host name. Now in my particular case I did create Roberto Testes one dot ddns.net and that is it. So at this moment I've got a friendly name for my home address which is just great. Now one more thing that I need to do, actually two more things that I need to do is to configure my router, my home router to let someone in in a particular door that we will just choose. Now to do that I will need to find and that this will depend on the router that we have but we will go to the settings and we will need to activate DNS service and activating that service which most of the new routers that we have and even older routers will have that service. Once we activate we just need to put our chosen DDNS that we just created in my particular case roberto-1.ddns.net and then username and password that we used for the no IP registration and somewhere down below it will ask for the service in my particular case it's no IP. After that just save it and it's okay. So basically what our router is doing at this moment is managing that particular address. So anyone from outside the network which access that network will be at our home. Don't worry because at this moment no one will be able to enter anything. We don't have any open door yet. And this is something really awesome but just beware not to share with people what you have open at your home. Now the final step is to decide which door we want to open for that particular server that we want. In my particular case it's just a solar PV management system that I want to manage when I'm outside and there is no app uh, included so this was one of the ways that we can do it. Now we will need to go again to the router configuration and there we will need to search for port forwarding and on that port forwarding we need to create a new rule and on that rule what we'll need to put in is the IP address of the machine that we want to access and here we are talking about an internal IP address so in my particular case you will see 192.168.1.145 and then I will need to select the external port. I can use any external port that I want as long as it's something easy to remember. In my particular case I'll be using 1111 because this external port will be the door of my home that when we knock we will get into that specific machine. Now we will also need to select the TCP UDP and also in this particular case we are talking about a web interface HTTP whatever you want to call it it's a web page so we will need to select internal port 80, 80 and then save. Now once we do this we are ready to access that internal server. It can be a Plex server, it can be some, something uh, that we want. Now depending on the service that we are using the internal ports might vary and usually software will have the directions of the internal ports that we want to use. But in this particular case as it's a web page it's just the 80 
80 and that is it. Now, when I'm outside the network, what I need to write on my phone, on my tablet or on my computer is basically the address that we created, which is Roberto testes one dot ddns.net and then followed by two dots one 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 and that means that we are in we just placed in the address of the home the door that we want to open which is open at this moment and there we go and of course in this particular case the software that i'm using as a password and username that we will need to put in so it's a, a safety layer that we are adding right over here and this is something that we should consider so that the door is not completely open it's uh, available we will need to knock in and if you know the password we will get in if we don't then we won't and guys basically this is it to sum up we just need to create a friendly address and then inside the router put that friendly address and then decide which door we want to use and basically that is it and easy to use and you can use door 1111 for this particular service you can use door 1112 or any other number that you recall that it's friendlier to you to another service and you can have as many as you want and with a simple way we don't need to configure our devices with vpns or things like that which we will cover in future videos but at this moment we can just have a web page that we open put in an address on any computer outside the network and get in our network and configure what we want hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up which is really really appreciated right over here my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one